Hello fellow classmates, my name is Taylor Westbrook. In this presentation, I'm going to be giving you my insight on Armstrong's Strategic Human Resource Management Toolkit. First, what do I think the toolkit actually is? The toolkit is a set of 24 different tools. Some are checklists and some are questionnaires provided to employees to receive their insight of the company's HR department. Some of the tools are charts that can be evaluated by management to see how HR practices are being implemented in the organization. The toolkit can also be used in group discussions or workshops. It is a good tool to use to start discussions or debates regarding HRM practices. The toolkit not only reviews internal factors, but also can examine external environmental factors by performing a SWOT analysis. As I learned about the toolkit throughout this semester, I found some strengths and weaknesses. The biggest strength of the toolkit is the diverse array of human resource aspects it reviews. Anything from rewards management, engagement, commitment, employee relations, and so on is included in the toolkit. Accuracy could be considered a weakness if employees are not completely honest on the checklist and questionnaires. Ultimately, this could cost the company if the employee needed to take extra time away from work to complete the toolkit activities. The tool I chose to analyze is tool number eight. This tool reviews the integration of a company's business strategies and HR strategies. A company's business strategy refers to a set of guiding principles that when communicated and adopted in the organization generates a desired pattern of decision making to allocate resources in order to accomplish key objectives. The HR strategies are based around the development of skills, behaviors, and attitudes of employees that will help an organization reach its overall business strategies. What I found important in the book was Armstrong's discussion of strategic fit and flexibility in a company. In order to be successful, an organization needs to be strategically fit, which means designing HR strategies to link to the business strategy, and strategically flexible, which means making the appropriate adjustments to strategies when internal and external factors affect the environment. I implemented and evaluated tool number eight with two different companies I have experience with. The first company I reviewed is my previous employer, Nordstrom. Nordstrom is a successful competitor in the upscale retail industry. The company's key component is their exceptional customer service, which is based on the founding philosophy of offer the customer the best possible service, selection, quality, and value. Nordstrom is seen as a great company to work for. The company was listed as number 61 on the Forbes Top 100 Companies to Work For in 2012. Their modern strategic approach to HR makes them a prime candidate for job seekers. Trust, rewards, diversity, appreciation, recognition, and advancement are most of the HR strategies Nordstrom focuses on. On the next slide, I provided a sample of the tool number eight, which shows the integration of each HR strategy with the overall business strategies of Nordstrom. As you can see from the chart, the business and HR strategies are highly integrated. For example, one of the top goals of Nordstrom is to promote diversity. The company stresses the significance of diversity because they believe it makes them more able to better serve customers. Nordstrom's total workforce in 2012 was 43.2% .2 minorities and 71.1% women. The second company I explored with tool number eight is my current employer, City Water Light and Power, also known as CWLP. CWLP is the Municipal Electric and Water Utility for Springfield, Illinois. CWLP was established in the mid-1800s and is now the largest municipal utility in the state of Illinois. CWLP takes a more traditional approach to HR strategies by providing functional duties of the company like hiring, training, rewarding, and safety. CWLP does integrate strategic flexibility by abiding to changes to internal and external environmental factors, like changes to people in office or the Federal Affirmative Action Plan. Diversity, safety, health, rewards, and training are the major HR strategies CWLP focuses on. The next slide, I provided a sample of the tool number eight, which shows the integration of each HR strategy with the overall business strategies of CWLP. CWLP's human resource management does a good job at integrating policies that are aligned with the business goals of the municipality. For example, the current mayor 
Mike Houston, is pushing diversity in his business strategies during his term. CWLP has changed its health care policy to allow insurance coverage to civil union partnerships. Also, the hiring process has changed. HR is now involved in every stage of the employment selection. This has increased the number of minorities and women in the organization. Overall, the toolkit is a very impressive human resource management tool. Organizations can gain valuable insight in regards to how HR policies are being implemented by doing a reoccurring toolkit breakdown. I hope you all have a better understanding of tool number eight. Thank you for listening.